Kevin, as I've always said, history is littered with scheming inventors who have made a fortune by developing medical quick fixes that claim to cure what ails you. My next guest has collected such inventions and opened the Museum of Questionable Medical Devices. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bob McCoy. Yeah. Hello, Robert. Hi, Marty. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. I'm so glad you're on our show. Well, I've got about 300 different things like this back at our museum in Minneapolis. I thought I'd bring some to you to try to see if you think they actually work or not. And these are things that at one time or another people paid a lot of money for and really believed that they could cure what was ailing. I'm afraid they did. Yeah. Step over here and let me try out the 55-minute shaper. You'll like this. The 55-minute shaper. Now, what, what was this supposed this to do? This is a weight loss device. A weight loss device. I'm going to have you stand in the middle of this. You can rest on my shoulder. We got the right whole okay. facing out there. I stand want you in the to middle. Get in, want you to get in there. Okay. Right in there. Right in there. Right in there. <laughs> okay, pull and this up now. And I thought the thigh master looked silly. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Now, what I'm going to do... <laughs> To take you this. know, Bob, it's one thing on a beach. <laughs> <laughs> How's that feel? You know what? It feels pretty good. <laughs> Is it long, long I, enough? I, I don't know if I've lost weight, but something's changing. <laughs> okay. No, it's uh, and so that you would just use uh, uh, hot, uh, hot, hot air. <laughs> How would you uh, blow that? With a dryer, a hair dryer. A hair dryer. That's where we're doing it. The government stopped this at the gate. This never came into this yeah. country. The FDA condemned it. I see. Now, here's a multi-purpose device. You can mm -hmm. probably figure out oh, what this might be. Housewives time. use this in the privacy of their kitchen. And you connect this to the kitchen sink. Uh-huh. And you alternate hot and cold water through here. Yeah. And it provides, a, prevents breast cancer, enhances breast size, makes breasts more supple, but you can also pre-rinse your dishes while you're doing this in the kitchen. <laughs> now, but again, let, let me clarify this. None of this was accurate information, but this is what people believe, and this is how the, these uh, are sold. They could con a lot of people with this. Yeah, these are all 19, cons. 7, 1968, a lot of people bought these. Actually bought these and put it on your, um, uh, uh, on your sink. I mean, put it on your uh, <laughs> tap. Isn't that unbelievable? That's what you're supposed to do. Well, I'll take that home anyway. But, you know, what the now, heck? How could, it hurt? how could it hurt? How could it hurt? What's this? This is something for men. It's a prostate gland warmer. The light bulb regulates the amount of heat in this rectal device. You know, I cannot tell you how many times I've sat in my office and wished my prostate was warmer. And, <laughs> and what, a, what, a, what a funny uh, uh, light bulb <laughs> is this. Well, that, no. Um, and so this would, this would just do what it seems to... It helps hemorrhoids those sorts of things it also mm -hmm. kept you from going to uh, having to go to the bathroom too often in 1917 these were patented and the patent Honestly says God. it's supposed to excite a man's abdominal brain uh, you know what i don't doubt that for one <laughs> second and if you, uh, well medium rare whatever you'd want your prostate i guess would you yeah, turn that off. You got to cut this, cut this off. Okay, so these are two things i'm taking home. Okay, go ahead. Now this is a thing to make hair grow. This is called the blood rub. And you'd put this on your head and it massages your scalp and makes hair grow, supposedly. But actually, if you really put this on your head, Let's see. I'm afraid it would cause more damage. Than oh, it. my God! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus. See, I saw Willard Scott with two red welts once on his head, so I think all the pieces are falling together. Well, that is insane. That, that actually injured me it's a little bit. Pleasant. Yeah, no, that wasn't fun. I'm, next, that you can keep. But again, those stay with me. The next, now, <laughs> the next thing I'll show you is mm. the Trilty Nose Straightener. This is a nose straightener, which, yeah. by the way... Well, if you have a nose that looks like this chart here, yeah. I have a guide down here. We're going to put this on your nose. Again, this does not work, but people well, thought Well, I've never really tied this at any length. Uh -huh. This might be the one thing that works. Uh -huh. Now, I have a wrench here, and uh -huh. the guide telling me which bolts to tighten to make your nose shift from one side to the other. How does that feel? Well, it just feels uh, a little bit goofy, really. <laughs> I mean, it just, I can't imagine that this would be good. It looks perfectly normal to <laughs> me. It's perfectly fantastic. <laughs> what else do we have? Well, we have over here the phrenology machine. You know what that is, to tell personality by the bumps on your head? Yes, that's Patented in 1905. Sit down here. And this is We're 1905, gonna... and people thought that by putting this in your head, they could actually tell your personality. Well, this really works. We're going to find out all kinds of things about you. Lower oh. this down on your head. My, yeah, well, mine's a... Center it on your nose and This will be seconds. a fast read, trust me. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Now, it's rating your character one through five, one being deficient, 
five being superior. Says you uh, spend money too much. Yeah. Your sense of humor is way too high, but you're wow. not very agreeable. You're kind of crabby to people <laughs> once in a while. Is that possible? <laughs> See, I told you, once you start reading my brain, you can't put it down. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> You like the outdoors. Yes, I uh, do. Your sexual enthusiasm is way too high, and well, you like children. I, listen, wait till I have that prostate need those thing devices over there. <laughs> keep breathing now. You're okay, doing well, fine. I'll, I'll keep breathing. Bob McCoy, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we'll be right back. Please don't go away, and we'll, we'll give you my readout.